Hello everyone, welcome to the show. Some of you may know that I once hosted a talk show on Shaw TV. And if you hadn't known it, well now you do. It was on the Community Access Channel, which ended when Shaw shut down that channel. Then the opportunity came along to host a talk show right here on Chill TV. With that was finding a new location to tape the show. We, the team, decided maybe a new name for the show would be fitting. So we chose Small Talk, which was suggested by a Facebook friend. Then I thought, hmm, what if we had an original theme song for the show? Wouldn't that be cool? Well, the problem is we didn't have money to pay anybody. But I thought, what the heck, I'm going to put it on Facebook anyway, because you never know unless you ask. Another Facebook friend suggested I contact somebody she knew, which I did. I explained to him what we wanted. I also explained the uh, financial situation. But he said yes. So we scored an original theme song, which you heard part of at the opening of the show. I wanted to meet this guy that was willing to do this for us, so I invited him here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased to welcome the very talented, the very generous Barry Wilson. Well, Barry, I really appreciate you coming here today. I, I appreciate being here. Before I ask anything else, I just really, really want to know about you being willing to do this for us for free. Because normally, if you write a song for somebody, you actually make money doing that, right? Yet you did this for us for free. Why is that? Well, I, I find I'm going to get some promotion out of the out of the deal. I, you know, I'll get some recognition in in the TV industry. Do you have a website that people yep. can go to? Yep. So. BarryWilson.org. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your background. Where are you from originally? I'm from Burnaby. And have you always lived in this part of the country? For the most part. Uh, I, I did take off and travel around Canada for, for quite some time and with my band and then I, as a photographer and, and, and promotional manager for Suter Studios. So were you playing band while you were working for Suter, Suter Studios? No, I, that came after. The band had just imploded uh, back in the 80s <laughs> and I came to Vancouver to apply with a tenor with the Vienna, uh, Vienna Choir to, to learn to improve my voice. And I had to quit smoking for six months before she would take me on and I had to get a job to support myself for that time and I became a telephone solicitor. <laughs> and what about the tenor? Did you... I never did go back. You didn't? Because it just, life kind of took me in different directions at uh, that point. All right. Now, have you always realized you had that ability to sing? Oh, yes. I, I started very, very young. About five years old, I was, I was being taught in the home how to sing and, and learning harmonies like the Beatles and things like that. So. Who was teaching you? My oldest brother, mostly, because he was a, quite a, an accomplished singer, and my mom. You know, she was a, a singer as well and piano player, so we, well, I, I had, we, we grew up singing in, in the house. It was kind of a family thing, you know, we all played a little something. And nice. Do you have other brothers other than the older one? I have three brothers and one sister. And where are you in the order of children? And the baby. And the baby, and of course you weren't spoiled, were oh, you? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Now, you mentioned your older brother being a performer. Did the others perform? No, uh, most of the, it, it was mostly my bro oldest brother and I that, uh, that continued on doing live performance. The others just did a little bit in the house, you know, playing the accordion and, and things like that. Now, I know you play the guitar. Do you play any other instrument? I play ukulele, mandolin, mandola, octave mandolin, mandocello, fiddle, drums, banjo, Harmonica, and, and I even have a guzing. A what? <laughs> a guzing. A guzing. Okay. <laughs> I read in your bio something about your grandmother. What did she, she played an instrument? Did she not? Yes, she played harmonica. I I didn't know honestly that my mother played harmonica or my grandmother played harmonica. I was recording uh, one of the songs on my CD and, and I was letting my mother listen to it and she said, when did you learn how to play harmonica? You know your grandmother was really good. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so my grandmother passed away when I was about seven so I, wow. I never got to really spend time with her. Right. When you first um, sent a sample of the song for us, um, it had a country feel to it. 
Yet in your bio, like there's a lot of mention of rock, so I'm not quite sure what your musical genre really is. I'm all over the place. I even I perform at the farmers markets uh, mostly, and and I play a little bit of everything. I like country, folk, pop, old stuff, new stuff. I'm I'm really even the Celtic. I'm I play with a Celtic band now and then. So. All right, that's really good. Um, well, we're going to continue because we're, we're going to have to have a short break. Okay, stay tuned. We will be right back. Hi everyone, Nancy Guitar here host of Small Talk, which airs on Chill TV, Mondays at 3 o'clock. Season 2 is going to be airing next Monday, July 8th. So if you'd like to be on the show, send me a message and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, everybody here at Small Talk wishes you all a safe and happy summer. Hope to see you soon. Peace out. We're back. I'm just speaking with Barry Wilson. Who would you say, if, if there was anybody that influ influenced you early on, other than family members? I'm talking about stars. Or My music teacher, Ms. Yeah. Ms. George. Miss George. Yeah, mm -hmm. in, in school. She, she introduced me to so many different instruments, the ukulele, the guitar, the recorder. and uh, I, I play two of the songs I learned in that class live today still. Oh, that's nice. So I, she taught me some pretty cool music for, for being young. So I, I, I credit her for getting me really interested in music. And what, uh, what age was that or what grade? Uh, she started with grade five. Uh, that's five, six, and seven. I was, she was my music teacher. Very good. Now, when you were listening to music, what type of music did you listen to? What, what would you say your preference would be, if there is any? My first recollection of a favorite song was Paperback Writer by yeah. the Beatles. I, my brother hated me because I kept, put it back, put it back, put it back. <laughs> I wanted to listen to it over and over. <laughs> that song just really, and even to this day, I love that song. Right. Have you ever been part of a band? Oh, many. Many? Uh, <laughs> many. A lot of eclectic bands that never went anywhere, but uh, the band out of the Kootenays called Arrester. Uh, we, we traveled around. We, were, we did pretty well for quite a few years. Why would you, like, what happened? Like, why would a band break up? What causes that? Our lead vocalist and our rhythm guitarist got married and... To each other? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they took a honeymoon and, and I lived on the music, so I had to come and go find a job for a while. And I came back to Vancouver. This is my home, you know. And I, I was late getting back for practice because uh, I had to work and right. we had a bit of an argument and I I got a bit, probably my fault I, I, my Irish blood took over and I got mad and grabbed my equipment and stormed out and and then I headed to Vancouver and, and decided I was going to take vocal lessons right um, now I was reading that you uh, something to do with farmers market now I don't know much about the farmers market you want to explain what that is about you know, I, I started playing the farmer's markets eight years ago now, uh, part-time, and I really find that I enjoy the, the crowd. It's, it's not, there people aren't drinking around you, it's, uh, it, there's a lot of kids dancing and mums in their strollers, and it, it's, it's a much more laid-back atmosphere. And as time has gone by, I, I've gotten quite busy. I, I've done 100 and, 106 shows this year so far. Wow, that's a lot. And then you're, you're, when you leave here today, you're going to perform somewhere, are you not? Yeah, a party for one of the vendors. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, that's excellent. You mentioned that you used to have your own business and that you walked away from it. Well, now what was that about? I was an auto detailer. It was actually here in town, uh, a Merton Hyundai. I, I contracted all their detailing for, for many years and uh, a motorcycle came in on trade and I'm gonna make a long story short I ended up buying it for myself and then I quit <laughs> and I took six months holidays and I toured around BC and I just drove around on the bike because I just I got tired of working so much and uh, that's how I got back into music. I stopped at the chainsaw carving competition in Hope, and then there were these four ladies that were singing on the sidewalk, and they were doing a Tom Petty song, and I jumped in and started singing harmony with them. 
and they asked me if I played an instrument and I had my mandolin strapped to the back of the bike and I said yeah I got that and I said, you should come out to an open mic session at this little bistro in the middle of nowhere and I ended up playing with some professional musicians that you know from the tragically hip from the head pins oh, nice. uh, I have a video that I, I couldn't believe when I saw this guy putting his guitar away and it had head pins on the case and I said what is he a head pins fan you don't know who that is? No. <laughs> and I ended up playing in a in a in a weekend um, a house band with them for two years after that. Now, are you actually making a living at this point in your life performing? Yep. I I I said two years ago that I uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I I gave up my job. I was working graveyards, uh, first aid attendant, and and I said, give me one year see if I can actually make a living at this. If I can't, I'll go back to being a regular Joe and, and do this on the weekends. And uh, Well, last year I did 147 shows and, and I was like, well, I can actually make a living because the, the farmer's markets, the, the farmers toss me vegetables and stuff. So I never, that's one thing I don't have to do a lot of shopping for. As long as I'm not throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time, but it's been really enjoyable meeting you. And again, we, we can't thank you enough for providing the theme song for us. That was fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time. In the meantime, peace out.